but I had a better chance to fight me then. Now I'm bigger, I'm stronger, I'm better. Now you fighting the right Shakur. I'm in great shape. I'm in great shape right now. That's so it's, cool. it's just perfect. Okay. I love it, man. Yeah, me I love too. the fact that we're making this fight for the fans. Me too. Just make sure you're not cheating. <laughs> make sure there's no cheating coming <laughs> on no, my way. Don't worry about me cheating. Hey, man, I've seen it, you know. I'm just saying. Don't, no, cheat. don't worry. Boy, I don't man. like cheating, man. I've never cheated cheat. in my life. So let's just make sure it don't happen again. How about that? Going through what you went through in your life. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Bud Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So what you just heard was undefeated two-division world champion, reigning WBO super featherweight world champion, superstar boxer, Shakur Stevenson, calling out Oscar Valdez to his face. Uh, Shakur Stevenson calls out Oscar Valdez to Oscar Valdez's face, uh, tells Oscar Valdez, you know, uh, make sure you're not cheating, okay? Uh, make sure, because I know... And I saw that you was cheating. Make sure, let's just say, don't ha let it happen again, okay? You got a pass for the for the past uh, cheating scandal, but not this time. Uh, Shakur Stevenson, 17 wins, no losses, no draws. Nine wins by way of knockout. He is 24 years of age, 5 foot 7 with a 68-inch arm reach, okay? He will be facing uh, undefeated two-division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, uh, Oscar Valdez. Uh, um, uh, April 30th, this upcoming Saturday, Oscar Valdez is the two division world champion. He's the reigning WBC super featherweight world champion. He's undefeated with a resume of 30 wins, no losses, no draws, 23 big wins by way of knockout, 31 years of age, five foot five with a 66 inch arm reach. So Shakur Stevenson is three inches taller than Oscar Valdez. He has a two inch arm reach advantage over Oscar Valdez. And this is a massive unification about the WBO WBC titles will be on the line. Uh, this upcoming April 30th, this upcoming Saturday, okay, in Las Vegas, Nevada. With that said, we know Oscar Valdez, he tested positive for a banned substance. Uh, and Oscar Valdez, he got a pass, okay, ahead of his fight with Robson Casasio, a Brazilian Olympic gold medalist who was undefeated at the time, you know, uh, uh, just a week or two ahead of that fight. Oscar Valdez tested positive for a banned substance. Uh, he stated it was something that was in his tea uh, that, um, you know, um, that caused him to, to test positive, uh, you know, um, and, and, you know, then you had the WBC World Boxing Council, President Mauricio Suleiman and board of 32 members come out and defend Oscar Valdez, saying that uh, what he tested positive for. Uh, um, was equivalent to just taking 10 Red Bulls. So, you know, uh, it wasn't a, um, a serious matter, you know. Uh, so it was an issue, okay? So you had some fighters, some great fighters like Timothy Bradley, a former two-division world champion, Hall of Famer, undefeated Olympic gold medalist, Two division world champion Andre S O G Ward. He claimed, he stated that uh, Oscar Valdez, you know, should not have been allowed to fight. You had many people come out and they said that Oscar Valdez should not be allowed to fight. Okay, and that Oscar Valdez uh, should have been at least suspended or stripped of his title. Okay, um, so his A and B sample tested showed positive results of uh, for prohibited central nervous system stimulant. Okay, uh, this was back in August of. of August uh, August 31st of 2021, ahead of his fight in September with uh, Robson Casasio, okay? Uh, so his A sample and B sample tested positive ahead of his September 10th showdown with uh, Robson Casasio, okay? Um, and yet, there was, uh, there was no punishment for it, okay? He didn't get suspended. Uh, he didn't lose. Uh, he didn't get, um, you know, um, a fine. Uh, he didn't get removed as the champion, absolutely nothing happened. And again, he tested positive for the A sample and the B sample, okay? Uh, and Mauricio Suleiman, he came out and he just, and he decided that they did their research, you know, uh, um, and that, you know, um, it was nothing wrong with it, okay? Uh, um, so it was Fetterman, okay? Uh, uh, <clears throat> and so you had Balco founder and um, snack founder, Victor Conte, you know, he came out and he responded to this. Uh, he responded to Mauricio Suleiman's claim that there was uh, no issue with what Oscar Valdez did. And he said, Victor Conte had this to say, quote, I personally have given athletes friend of me. This is what Oscar Valdez had tested positive for A and B sample. I know what it does. It is very powerful. It is like uh, um, 
methamine, okay? Victor Conte said, the founder of Balco and Snack. Uh, Conte served time and, you know, we know he, he, you know, he was found as the face of the uh, performance enhancers for the sports overall, you know, uh, you know, he introduced uh, uh, athletes having unfair advantages with performance enhancers. OK, uh, so with that said, this is a fight Shakur Stevenson has been wanting forever in the day. He's been chasing down this fight with Oscar Valdez. Uh, Oscar Valdez, he went in and he completely shocked the world when he moved up. He Shakur Stevenson was Oscar Valdez's mandatory challenger at 126. For Oscar Valdez's WBO title, he vacated the belt. He moved up to 130. Uh, he challenged Miguel Burchelt. Uh, that was February of 2021. And he completely shocked the world. Uh, when he moved up, he challenged Miguel Burchelt, who was on the absolute tear at that point in time. He was uh, 38 wins with one loss. Uh, uh, you know, uh, 34 wins by way of knockout. He was the bigger guy. Uh, just 29 years of 29, 30 years of age, five foot seven with a 71 inch army. So uh, he's th two, almost two and a half inches taller than Oscar Valdez, uh, 72 inch arm reach. So Oscar Valdez, a 66 inch arm reach. He had a, um, a six inch arm reach advantage. He's the bigger puncher. Oscar Valdez moved up and he absolutely obliterated uh, Miguel Bushell, knocking him out brutally in the 10th round to many people's surprise. He's never displayed that type of punching power. So many people started to question, where did this come from? OK, uh, and then when this the, immediately after that fight, going into his fight with Robson Casasio, uh, he tested positive for a bad substance, Fetamine. OK, and then everybody starts to speculate. Well, that's where the power come from when we saw him uh, completely obliterate uh, um, Miguel Bushell. OK, nonetheless, we're here now. <clears throat> This is a fight that everybody's been wanting to see. Shakur Stevenson has been wanting to see it. Uh, uh, the Boston world's been wanting to see it. And styles make fights. Uh, Oscar Valdez, I asked legendary promoter, top-ranked CEO and promoter Bob Arum, uh, what was the plan uh, for Oscar Valdez after his fight with Robson Casasi, in which uh, many people felt like Oscar Valdez, on top of that, got a gift decision against Robson Casasio because many people thought that Robson Casasio won that fight. OK, Oscar Valdez, he got a unanimous decision in his backyard. It was in Arizona. That's where he's from. Uh, and Robson Casasio was out boxing Oscar Valdez and the judges uh, scorecards. One judge saw Stephen Blay had it 117, 110. OK, where the other judges had it 115, 112, 115, 112. How can Stephen Blake see it 117, 110 when there's actually people that actually thought that Oscar Valdez lost? OK, so he had Oscar Valdez winning in the landslide. So on top of the uh, uh, the alleged allegations and the, te the failed test, OK, A and B sample for Fetamine, uh, then he gets a gift decision on top of that. OK, so which, uh, um, you know, many people wasn't happy with that. So. Styles make fights. Oscar Valdez has always struggled with pure boxers. Okay. Shakur Stevenson is the picture of a pure boxer. Great defense, has the highest defensive uh ratio percentage in, in the sport of boxing currently today. Okay. Uh, Shakur Stevenson is a southpaw who's bigger than he is, who's more athletic than he is, who's quicker than he is, just has a higher ring IQ and just a better pure boxer. Okay. Um, and with that said, you know, we know Oscar Valdez. Uh, he's with, you know, um, well-renowned trainer, two-time trainer of the year, Eddie Reynoso, who also trains four-division world champion Mexican superstar Barca, who is currently the undisputed super middleweight, and Saul Canelo Alvarez, uh, who also tested positive in the past for Clembuterol. Then you had uh, a plethora of other fighters from Eddie Reynoso. But Eddie Reynoso is on record stating that, uh, you know, African-American fighters are very slick. They're very difficult to deal with. Uh, like Floyd Mayweather. Okay, so he Oscar Valdez is gonna have his hands full. Uh, Oscar Valdez, you know, uh, you know, he's is a pretty good boxer, uh, but he has defensive laps. He leaves himself wide open to be counted. Uh, you know, um, he struggles with his head movement when dealing with a boxer that has a jab. Uh, he struggles with distance when trying to pin down a pure boxer. Uh, and counter a pure boxer like Robson Casasio, okay? He was missing. Uh, he was off his target uh, with Robson Casasio for the first six rounds. And Robson Casasio, he somewhat let off the gas in the second half. Uh, and I could see um, where the judges started to sway because he started to just put it in cruise control as if he won. 
you got to take it from the champion, especially in his backyard, similar to Josh Taylor and Jack, Jack Catterall. OK, you got to take it from him. OK, if you want it, you got to take it from him. They ain't going to allow you just to, you know, uh, uh, um, walk in the arena, win a few rounds and then walk out with the title. It don't work that way. OK, so the, Sh the Shakur Stevenson accuracy, his jab, his timing, his hand speed, uh, his ring IQ and more importantly, his defensive prowess is going to see him dominate this fight, in my opinion, against Oscar Valdez. But I'll give you my official prediction on Saturday. Uh, so with that said, Shakur Stevenson to Oscar Valdez's face tells Oscar Valdez, you know, uh, don't cheat this fight, okay? Oscar Valdez said, uh, you don't worry about me cheating. He said that, you know, um, well, I know I saw, I know what happened and I know what took place in the past. Just don't let it happen again. And Oscar Valdez said, I'm in the best shape of my life. Can't wait to make it happen. So let's see how this unfolds on Saturday. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shady videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.